Greetings and welcome back to the channel. So here we are in the Suez Canal. We're going to take advantage of some of this add-on scenery which has been created and I will put links to it in the description. And we're going to have a look at what's happening in the Suez Canal. There are quite a lot of ships in front of us. Recently there has been a blockage in the Suez Canal. There was a ship which is Golden Class Super Container Ships about 400 meters long. I mean really really huge and uh, it got stuck in the canal. The ship that stuck is actually behind us. That's just giving you a view of some of the ships which have been placed here and are all part of this giant traffic jam for the last six days. Now the Suez Canal, it's about, uh, is it 200 kilometers long, something like that. Some parts of it, ships can pass each other, but some parts of it are still basically like a narrow one-way street. When you have these huge container ships traveling through here, don't forget that when it happened, there was a sandstorm and there was 40 knot winds. For a huge container ship in such a narrow channel without the assistance of tugboats pulling it or pushing it, a 40 knot winds, that's a pretty big deal. So we can see here more ships all queuing up here. After six days, uh, they reckon there's about 400 ships in this traffic jam, shipping jam, whatever you call it, I'm not quite sure, let me know. Up ahead here we can see the Ever Given ship, which is owned by the Evergreen Company. And we have a quick look out here at the side. Yeah, you can see there's pretty good graphics here. The canal is quite, uh, quite realistic. The city of Suez is up there in front of us, and here we come along now to the ship, which is blocking the canal. So this rendition here is where the ship is partially floated. They have a lot of tugboats trying to push it around. They have removed a lot of fuel from the ship. They have taken off, I believe, 9,000 tons of ballast water. The ballast water is water that's in the ship that you can move around from tank to tank and helps balance the ship when it's at sea. 9,000 tons, that's a lot of balanced water. There we can see on the nose of the ship there, a lot of work going on, a lot of vehicles and buildings. We have some emergency boats there. A lot of tugboats trying to push that around there. Really incredible, all the work that's going into straightening this ship up there. But there's, you can see there's not a lot of space in that canal. And you have to think, too, at the edges, it doesn't go straight down at both sides. Even getting close to the visible edge, you can run aground. So let's spin around now and have a look out the side window, and uh, we can check out the ship. You can actually see there from the uh, pictures of the water, you can see the edges there. It's not so deep right at the edges. Obviously they work on this canal probably all the time. I mean, when you have so many sandstorms and things like that, uh, I'm sure you have to clear out the canal regularly. So here is the Ever Given, owned by Evergreen. And if I look down there, I'm just circling around here like a vulture, and I'm wondering, is that where all the NVIDIA graphics cards are? Is that why I can't buy one? They're all stuck in the Suez Canal. There we go. There's another theory. Yeah, it's uh, really impressive graphics here. Very, very impressive, very realistic. So we're just doing a circle around here. And we can see now off up the other side. And again, a huge, huge string of ships all just waiting along there. Hopefully none of them are 
kind of drift and get stuck but I think most of them are, are much smaller this uh, ever given is golden class super container ship or mega container ship as you call it which is pretty cool new technology so going through a canal that's 152 years old I believe at the moment it's pretty much narrow one-way section here of the canal and we can see the tugboats pushing it around and they just they dug out so many tons of, of sand from the front of it with these diggers trying to clear it up get it free and reduce the weight plan B is uh, bring in more ships and some cranes and uh, take all the cargo and containers off it that would lighten it up and help it float but they hope that they don't have to do that because that would be a huge job uh, it's already blocked for six days and some ships are stuck in the queue waiting and some ships have chosen to go the long way around Africa which is quite a long trip Thanks so much for the software developers who have created these uh, custom scenery files with the ship and uh, allowed people to download them for free. I mean, it's, it's incredible what the flight simulator community does and, and, and how many people put such a great effort into it and, and sharing it. That's really, really amazing. So I would put the links to the add-ons uh, that I have used in the description and go ahead check them out if you have Microsoft Flight Simulator download them fly around and check it out yourself it's pretty amazing now we might get reported for circling around and around here like a vulture and dreaming of uh, you know one of those containers opening and then we can go down and grab a big stash of graphics cards but I don't think that's gonna happen there's probably don't even have any on board so now we'll head up here and have a look at the other side. So I'm going to teleport now to save some time. Boom. That was pretty cool. So now here's a look at some of the ships on the other side queuing up. For some parts of the canal, ships actually do always have to queue because, as I said, some parts of it are one way. So I'm going to let a few ships through in one direction and then stop it and then let some through in the other direction. They do have plans to work on widening it and creating a two-way canal system. Well, here we have quite a lot of ships. I know, maybe you'll recognize one of them. And there are so many cargo ships here now that you know, there's a good chance that something you're buying could be affected. Or some supplies could be affected. But I've just heard right now that the ship has actually been freed. It has been freed. It is no longer stuck. I guess business can resume as normal. So it'll take a while probably for all of these ships to get through, but at least things can start moving again now. If you're here stuck on a ship, then I guess it's you're just sitting there for a week, hoping you don't run out of supplies. Depending on what ship you're on, of course, if you happen to be on one of these uh, cruise liner ships, then you're just uh, having a party for a week, I guess, if you're lucky. But if you're on some of the other cargo ships, it's probably not so exciting to be stuck there for an extra week. There's a platform ship. That's pretty incredible. So many ships here. You know, I, uh, when you're flying over to fairly high, you don't seem to realize. But when you get down in the middle of them, you can really see. So I hope this is uh, working out graphically wise for you guys and um, that you're enjoying it. Yeah. Such a lot of ships placed there. Again, all done by developers 
and uh, all available for free fair play to the Microsoft Simulator community so that's Suez I believe the city if I pronounce it correctly up there in front of us and let's just turn over here there is the Suez Canal entrance from this side and I'm just gonna skip forward a bit now there you can see we have skipped forward that's the city and here is the string of cargo ships in the opposite direction which are all jammed up because of the ever given being stuck they don't know yet exactly what caused it but you know a ship of that size going down here in a sandstorm with 40 knot winds I don't even know if it would be technically possible to keep that straight but we will see what happens when, when the reports come out they should probably take a long time normally these things do so here we have another load of ships up here and there we have another ship stuck up there. Is that a second ship stuck up there? Oh my gosh, this one is stuck all the way across. Actually, this isn't the sh second ship that's been stuck up there. This was the first rendition of the ship from a couple of days ago when it was originally stuck going from one side completely across the other. So we've traveled back in time two or three days with the uh, scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator and you can see now how this ship okay there's just generic text on the side of it but uh, this is how it first got stuck basically it just got turned around there and the front and the back got stuck on both sides so you can see the ship is 400 meters long and the width of the canal is obviously less than 400 meters at this point uh, hence why it got stuck there so again huge huge mega ship some tugboats there trying to move the front around I think they had better luck when they moved the back around we got some diggers there in front of us and uh, yeah everything has been added in here it's really really cool so that's it folks I hope you enjoyed the video if you're not a subscriber and you would like to subscribe go ahead by all means and you'll be notified when I make the next video. Thankfully, the ship has been freed, so everything, all business can go back to normal as soon as they alleviate the traffic jam. Take care, thanks for watching.